Welcome to your next tutorial on API documentation using Swagger. In this tutorial, I'll start by showing you some websites you can use to practice if you don't have your own web service already. You can use this random user generator, randomuser.me, to generate your own users with their profiles and details and everything. They have APIs, so if you want to practice, you can use them to practice. You can hit on the documentation to learn more. Then another website you can use to generate users or that has a lot of APIs you can practice with is wapi.co. They have a lot of Star Wars APIs. You hit on their documentation and you have access to a lot of APIs you can practice with in case you don't have yours already. So in this tutorial, we'll be installing Swagger Editor so that we can do whatever we did online on our local system and in a much smarter way. So we will go to Google and search for Swagger Editor. Or let's just visit Swagger's website, swagger.io. Then we download Swagger Editor. We we'll look at tools and you have Swagger Editor. What we're looking for is the GitHub URL. So we hit on download and here's the GitHub URL. So we simply copy it. So let's open it first of all. Then we clone it to our system. So hit on clone and copy. I'll take it to my system and clone. There we are in my system. I will navigate to my favorite folder. You can you can put it in any folder, but I like to put all my website files inside my WW folder. So you type git clone. Make sure your system is online, and you hit this. Then I don't want my name to be this, so I will give a space and give the folder a name, so I can say swagger editor doc. Then I'll copy it just in case. Control C on my keyboard and I hit enter. Then you relax, take some coffee, walk around, and in a few seconds, it must have finished cloning depending on the speed of your internet. After it has cloned, we can now open this and access it. There we are, the installation has completed. Mine failed the first time, so I ran it again. Now, if yours is completed, you have to navigate into the folder. For me, this is the name of my folder. So I'll do a CD, enter on my keyboard, and I'll do a start. I am on Windows, so this will work. This will simply open the folder. And this is the folder of Swagger Editor that was downloaded for me. Now, to check this out, we have to go visit it on our browser. So I will open this. Swagger.com I'll open my browser and visit localhost make sure that your server is running I have one server on my system you could use any server for yours so since my one server is running I'll just visit this And this opens Swagger UI Editor on my system. And something I forgot to mention in the online editor is that even if you close your browser, whenever you open it, Swagger Online Editor will remember where you stopped. So it's automatically saving. If I get back to my code, as you can see, we have the same pet store we had in the past here. What we can do is to copy this code and paste it here. And that's it. We have our code here and we can resolve the error if we want. And that will involve us to clean up the entire code which you can do on your own, delete all the unnecessary stuff, 
So for now, I'll return it to the default, what it was before. So when I return it to the default, so we can continue. Remember, the next thing we have to do is that we have to convert this to a JSON file. If you remember here, after we've written our YAML, we have to convert it to a .json file. And after converting it, then we have to download Swagger UI. Now to convert this to a JSON file, if you are on Swagger Online, it's just about clicking File, Download JSON. It will download to your system, Save File, Swagger.json. That will quickly download to your system. If you are on your local browser, you can do the same, download JSON. But what we have to do next is to install Swagger UI. So, right inside here, we will npm install g swagger. We have to install swagger first of all. So, you hit enter. I have, I have it already installed in my system. And after installing it, this g makes it makes the installation global. And after this, we will install Swagger UI. Then we install something else called Swagger UI Dist. So in the next video tutorial, I'll show you a list of all our installations so you don't mix them up. Now, our installation has finished. Don't mind if you have all this warning, duplicated, and uh, optional stuff. It doesn't matter. So what we'll do is to install Swagger UI. So make sure that you're inside your Swagger editor folder. So npm install save Swagger dash UI. And we wait again. So I'll restart this. I'll pause this video and restart it after this installation is complete. Right now, Swagger UI has finished installation. So the next thing we will install is Swagger UI Dist. And that's the last thing we have to install. So we hit enter and then we'll wait again. So after this installation, I will close this video. Then in the next video tutorial, I will show you what we will what we already have as you can see the installation is complete and again ignore all these warnings and errors and now our installation is complete we will open our folder and you will notice a node modules folder when you open the folder you type s and uh, we are looking for swagger where it's installed as you can see we have two things installed swagger ui and Swagger UI Dist. If we open Swagger UI Dist, we have these files. I want us to copy this Swagger UI Dist. I've copied it on my keyboard, Ctrl C, or you just right click, hit Enter, Enter, and then paste it on your root folder. So I'll paste it somewhere here. Paste. Now this sums our magic for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will show you what is inside here and how we can use it. So thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.